So to find the slope of a line from the graph, we will use this formula, rise over run. So let's pick two points from the graph. So for example, let's pick this point as our starting point and let's pick for example, this point as our ending point and let's travel from one point to the other. So let's count squares. We are going to travel down first. So one, two, three, four. We went down four units. So we will write negative four because we went down. So let's write it down. Our rise is negative four over. Now let's travel to the right, right to get to the to this ending point. So let's count squares. One, two. So since we went to the right two units, we will write plus two. Very good. So our run is plus two. Now let's do this math. Negative four divided by positive two will be negative two. Very good. So our slope is negative two. But let's confirm and pick another two points to make sure we got it right. And you will see how it works. So I'm going to pick another two points. For example, this point and for example, this point. Okay. So let's say our starting point will be this one below. So let's write starting point, right? And we will go a different direction. So you'll see how it works. So this is our starting point and we are going up this time. Let's count squares together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Since we went six units up, we will write plus six. So let's write it down. Our rise is plus six over and now let's go to the left let's count squares one two three so we went to the left so we will use a negative sign so negative three okay so let's write it down negative three now let's calculate six divided by negative three will be negative two so the slope of this line is negative two whether we use these two points or the other two points you see how it works just pick two points from the graph and count the squares when you go up you will use the plus sign when you go down you will use the negative sign when you go to the left you will use the negative sign and when you go to the right you will use the plus sign i hope this is helpful for you. Thank you for your good work and I will see you in my next video.